Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And shine within your people here.
prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. Well, good evening and welcome to our second week of Advent Vespers as we prepare ourselves for uh, the coming of Christmas. Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to play the piano for you tonight or sing. Uh, but I, I chose to sit here because it, thinking about all the lovely things, the wonderful things about Christmas, it's hard to not think a little bit about music. There's so much great music this time of year. Uh, more, it seems, than any other season that uh, all of these lovely carols that uh, are so special to us and that we love to sing and, and, and frankly just a music new all of the time, this constant uh, creation of beautiful songs and beautiful music and inspirational music. And, and I think it's because the season itself is inspirational. The message of Christmas is so inspirational. Hope and joy and love and peace and, and I think that moves people who have this gift uh, to create amazing music and, and that's part of what makes the season so special. Uh, and, and it's not just the music, of course. It's the message that comes with the music. It is these messages of, of hope and, and of faith and, and of the power of the Christmas story to, to change hearts and to, to change lives and, and even to change the world. That's how we get caught up in it. Christmas is such a powerful message, such, a, such an important piece of good news. And when have we ever needed it more than we need it this year? In Isaiah, God gives these instructions to his prophet. He says, Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion. Herald of good tidings, lift up your voice with strength, O Zion, O Jerusalem. Herald of good tidings, lift it up. Do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. What a, what a great word for the people of, of Israel as they are in exile, as they are about to be uh, have this promise fulfilled for them that they will return home, that their long years of, of bondage and suffering are about to be over. God gives us these same instructions as we prepare our hearts for the coming of Christ. We are charged to be his prophets, to get ourselves up uh, in high places and announce to the whole world that that God's salvation is at hand, that there is good news for us, not just to hear, but good news for us to speak, to proclaim in, in word and in song and in deed, in everything that we are and do to announce to the world that God is here. Even in this dark times, even in the difficulties that we face, God is here. He is come now. And he will bring us through this moment. He will bring us through these days. He will bring in his kingdom of peace and justice. And he will do it through us. You see, we are the good news that God is announcing in the world. We are the ones now who by our lives and our faith uh, bring in the kingdom of God and demonstrate his grace to all of those who need it. So let us be good news. Let us be heralds of good tidings. Let us be the ones who bring joy, bring smiles, bring help, bring hope in these very needful times. In Jesus' name.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our oh, Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will be done. done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the, our God, praise and thanks to you. May God, Creator, bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the Spirit of love be our guide and path for all.